Welcome. This is the Life Habits podcast series, and my name is Carl Vredenberg. This is the series that helps you to learn new habits to optimize your life in order to stay sane in this crazy world. This is episode number 109, and the topic for today is leveling up. It's been 15 years since I started this podcast series, and you know, the back catalog has more than 100 episodes on a really wide range of topics that first introduce you to the topic, provide some inspirational quotes, and the list of recommendations. We've now covered topics like career planning, authentic parenting, fitness, public speaking, anger management, forgiveness and compassion, fostering creativity, leadership, work-life balance, effective meetings, sleep, biases, relaxation, authentic listening, getting into shape, being happier, developing empathy, mindful meditation, career workouts, diversity inclusion, exploring the world, and many, many more. The last three episodes were recorded during the pandemic in a series that I called Checking In. And they focused on things like working from home, mental health, and staying the course. I haven't recorded an episode in a while, but I've been so heartened to hear from so many of you asking me to start recording more episodes. So, here I am. I'd like to introduce you to a new series of episodes with the theme of leveling up. This is just the first relatively short introduction to that new series, but there'll be many podcast episodes in this series. So let's talk a little about the words leveling up. Just like a video game, when you master a certain level, it's time to level up to the next more difficult level. That's what these episodes will be all about. The advice I've provided to you in most of the other episodes to date on a topic really introduce you to the topic and just get you started. The next series will provide advice on being even more effective. Unlike video games, though, you needn't have mastered all the topics in the previous episodes. You can still level up while getting better at them, too. The pandemic actually inspired this series. Everyone talked about getting back to normal after the pandemic. However, I was inspired to seek a new and better normal. I thought that the world really needed to level up to deal with the core issues we have, including the cause of the pandemic and to prevent the next one. We need to address climate change and leveling up our approach to it because our current course and speed just isn't sufficient. We need to make the population healthier and in better balance ethically. We'll also take some of the topics we've already introduced and help you to further level up on them, together with the guests I've had in the past, like Mandy Kloppers and Jose Char. I've also lined up a number of new guests, as well, on new topics. It's worth delving into what it takes to level up. You'll first need to make the decision to change some aspect of your life. That's key. And then you need to practice. The latest research literature suggests that it takes a little more than two months to develop a new habit, but it actually takes 10,000 hours of intentional and guided practice to master it. So you may well have made a decision to make a change in your life and then developed it into a habit after a couple of months. Now, in order to level up that skill, you'll need to further get guidance and then have intentional practice to master it. In this series, we'll also be introducing additional opportunities to change your life, your health, the health of the planet, and even your values. So before finishing up, let me just share with you a few inspirational quotes that can get us going in this direction. The first one is from Barack Obama, who says, change will not come 
if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Zach Ertz said, stay focused. Believe that you can achieve at the highest level. Surround yourself with others who believe in you and do not stray from your goal. Maharshala Ali said, you have the capacity to leave a lasting impact and indelible impression upon the world. And last but not least, Albert Alice said, the best years of your life are the ones in which you decide your problems are your own. Do not blame them on your mother, the ecology, or the president. You realize that you control your own destiny. So I'm arranging this series of episodes with lots of guests, but I'm also open to your suggestions for the parts of your life that you'd still like to level up. Please send me an email to lifehabits at gmail.com to share your suggestions and requests. I very much look forward to getting going with this new series, and I hope you'll enjoy it too. And bye for now.